post harvest loss, hermetic sealing with locally available containers. In this video, we will explain how to avoid insect damage when storing beans after harvest. This can be done by storing your beans in an airtight jerry can. Brushids are insects that attack beans. They bore holes through the beans that reduce their weight, quality, and chances of germination that allows the beans to grow. By storing your beans in an airtight jerry can, most brushids and other insects that attack your beans will die and you will be able to keep your beans safe for eating, seed, or sell. If you do not have a jerry can available, you can use any dry sealable container of a similar size as long as the beans are packed into that container as tight as possible. The container size should be at least 5 liters. The optimum size is 10 to 20 liters. If you do not have enough beans to fill a container yourself, Consider working with other farmers in your community. You can store more beans efficiently if you work together by sharing storage containers. It is important that the jerry can you use has never held any hazardous material such as fuel or pesticides since the residue of these liquids can never be fully removed and can harm human health. You can safely store your beans for up to six months if the jerry can is never opened and if you are using your beans for seed. However, if you store them longer than this, the germination rate may go down. Beans that are to be used just for food and not for seed can be stored for as long as you want. This can be as little as a few months or over a year. However, when you open the jerry can, you must start eating the contents as soon as possible and you must finish the can within a couple of weeks. Before you store your beans in airtight jerry cans, you need to do the following. First, dry the beans well in the sun on a tarpaulin or dark sheet of plastic to make sure that they have a low moisture content. After that, sort the beans carefully, removing the ones that are already damaged. Find a clean dry jerry can and pour the beans inside the can. The size of the jerry can can be between 10 and 20 liters and they should hold between 10 kg and 20 kg of the beans. Once again, you can use a smaller container if necessary, but do not go below 5 liters. After you have filled the jerry can to the top, Shake it so that you can be sure that the beans are tightly packed. Add more beans if there is space. It is very important that the jerry can be completely filled so that very little air remains. If too much space is left, the brushes will not die. Once you are sure that the beans are well packed, cover the top with a small piece of soft plastic bag. Make sure the plastic is free of holes and as an extra precaution, you can fold the plastic so you get two layers. Seal the lid of the jerry can tightly and your beans will be safe from insect attack. Remember to label each jerry can with the date it was sealed and with the intended use of the beans, either for food or for planting. Once the jerry can is sealed, do not open it for at least a month so that any brushes will be killed. It is important that you never open the jerry can until the beans are needed for planting, eating, or selling. If you open the jerry can, the container will have a new supply of air and some brushed eggs may hatch. Remember, if the beans are to be used for food, you can keep them in the can as long as you want. However, if you plan on planting the beans, do not store them for longer than six months in the jerry cans. By following this method, you can prevent insect damage to your beans after the harvest. This will mean more beans for you and your family to eat. Better quality beans that fetch a higher price at the market. And improved bean seed that can produce a good crop.